Hello YouTubers, Pancake. Um, bit of an update on what I've been up to and um, what I'm going to be doing for Josh Swan's group build. Uh, finished me uh, Hanoverian Landver, uh, Gifhorn Battalion. Gone with the GMB Designs flags. Uh, it turned out okay. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on the formations used in black powder. Not extensively into the formations, but uh, a little bit of info on the uh, black powder rules and formations. These Alivarians are in standard line, taken up by British, which we're famed for with a two deep line for maximum five power. And in this formation, it's uh, two deep and six companies long or wide, and you get your full rate of fire. Uh, distances are calculated from your commander, this guy, so it'll be out to your front from this guy. Uh, regardless of where these are, it's all taken from him, and they get the full rate of fire of three dice. Um, where the land wouldn't allow this formation, the British went and adopted, as in with the Albion Triumph, this line, four deep line, which is three companies wide. Reduced shooting. Is it? Yeah, reduced shooting um, by one, but still pretty effective. Um, artillery shooting at them doesn't get the um, plus one for the column, and uh, they also get the steady and the counter charge, so they can shoot and counter charge, which is pretty cool. Um, the other formation well known by British especially at Waterloo was the square the water bayonets um, very good against cavalry uh, at the end of the combat these get plus three to the combat result which is going to stop any cavalry unit from uh, doing them in um, you still get the bonus uh, when even when they uh, shaken and disordered, but you can still charge them. You can't charge them if they're not shaken or disordered. But the cavalry still ain't going to win anyway. Well, they can, but it's going to be really, really lucky dice rolling. Uh, trouble with this is they only get one dice per facing to shoot, and lastly, uh, the hand to hand is two up into each facing so basically you get two up to two dice per face equal to the actual combat value and artillery you get plus one when shooting them so you could actually uh, shoot them to bits with artillery and musket fire really yeah, and you keep your cavalry close by to uh, keep them in in square so to speak uh, and then on to the French and uh, this is the well known attack column which is uh, pretty effective for the French and used extensively. And they get uh, plus one command, plus one reliable. They only shoot with one dice, then they get plus one to the morale for each dice, but they're not from shooting by artillery. So if you shoot anybody, nobody likes being shot at with artillery canister, uh, can mess them up. And that is uh, two companies wide and three deep. So they can motor across the battlefield in this formation. Um, what they tended to do is uh, have uh, a lot of these behind, it's then formed into line, give fire, then the march columns, the attack columns came through. Um, another formation black powder used is the march column. You get plus one to command, so you can actually get them moving along the board quite nicely. Plus two if you're on a road. But boy, if you get caught in this formation, you're knackered. You only shoot, shoot with one dice. So you um, well, cannot shoot, sorry, you only fight with one dice. So you're going to be pretty pretty beat up in this formation. At the start of the battle, it's alright to bring you guys on in March Column. But after that, uh, I won't advise it. So that's just a couple of formations and how uh, they work in black powder. I'm going to be uh, doing something for Josh Schwann's
group build and it's going to be these guys the latest edition from the Warlord Napoleonics family so I'm going to be doing this box uh, I'm going to be doing two projects this, this is the uh, easy one, well I say easy but you know I know what I'm doing with this one because uh, it's uh, for next year for the uh, Waterloo 200 years the second project is going to be I'm going to be doing a table for in here not necessarily just for the Battle of Waterloo but it's going to be for me uh, Napoleonic miniatures I'm thinking about a 7 foot the 5 foot table so the small project will be these and the large project will be the table and the, and the table I'll be doing videos throughout the table start right up to unfinished uh, not be some similar, similar to what this is, but this is for me Flames of War and 15mm grunts. It's not for Napoleonics, as you can see by these little uh, Bacarch hedgerows. So, uh, yeah, all in all, happy days. Weather's nice now, so I'm going to get myself a cup of tea and start on some more Napoleonics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you all later. Bye!